So editing uh, large amounts of data in Excel is fairly simple. So whenever you have data that is stuck together like this, as in they're touching, Excel can sort that pretty simply. Now if you have, let's say there was a gap, there was empty sales between DOB and Providence, okay, like there was no hometown here, um, Excel would not sort the two. There has to be uh, information connecting the two in order for it to work. But to sort down in Excel, all you do is you click a cell. So let's let's say we want to sort by name. We have all this jumbled up information here, and we want to sort all this information by uh, first name. So I'm going to click Ryan here, and I'm going to go over to Sort and Filter on the editing tab of our home, on the editing section of our home tab. Click that, and we're going to go sort A to Z. And so we see that Alex is first, and Amanda. Uh, we have two Amandas and an Andrew. So Excel sorts those for us. Now, what we can also do is we can go by number. So we have our ID numbers here on the left side, and let's say we want to sort that by ID number rather than, uh, than by names. So we can go over to our Sort and Filter button again, click it, and Excel automatically recognizes that, hey, these are numbers, this isn't a name. So I can go sort smallest to largest, and, and bam. Uh, all, this, all this data is now sorted uh, numerically. And it doesn't stop there. We have uh, date of birth over here. We can sort by date of birth. So I'll click that. And instead of going here, which you can still do it this way, go there and click oldest and newest. I'm going to go over to the data tab and go to the sort and filter section. And these three buttons right here are the same buttons that were on the other uh, section. So I can just hit here this button right here and it automatically sorts oldest to youngest. But let's say I want to do something a little crazy. I want to, I want to be very specific about how I want to sort it. So I'm going to click Age, and I'm going to go over to the Sort button, and now it brings up this uh, menu where we really, we really can customize how we want to sort this data. And this same menu is available when you go to the Home tab, go to Editing, and hit Sort and Filter, and then go to Custom Sort. Okay, so we have we're sorting by date of birth right now, but we can do, we can sort anything on this table using this box. So let's sort by hometown A to Z. Hit OK, and now it has all the hometowns listed in alphabetical order. Another cool thing we can do is using conditional formatting, um, we have this little trick. So I'm gonna click right here. I'm gonna highlight all these ages. And I'm going to go to Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cells Rules, and I'm going to highlight every cell that is greater than, let's say, 35. Let's say uh, that there's a new Olympic rule that after 35, you can't play sports anymore. So 35, I'm going to click that, and now all the cells that are 35 are highlighted. I can go over, click, the, click, it, click back into it, Sort and Filter, custom sort and we have our tab here and I'm gonna go sort by and this is the, the category that we're gonna sort by so I want to sort the ages so I'm gonna click age and what I want it to sort is by cell color okay so every every tab uh, every cell that is this red color here I want to put it on top so now we see that all these players are over the age of 35 and they're ineligible to play hockey. So another cool thing I can do is, so we have it sorted by, um, you know, the, the colors. Everyone over the age of uh, 35 is here, and everything is separated. But it's kind of jumbled up, right? Like we have everything here, but it's it's jumbled, and the rest of the data isn't in a a clear and concise order. So what we can do is we can add levels to our sorting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. Uh, I'm going to bring up that box from earlier, and I'm going to add a level. So not only do I want it to first sort by these colors, you know, I want it to sort by uh, alphabetical order. So I'm going to go by by last name, and I'm going to go cell values A to Z, hit OK. And now we have all the players listed, right? I have one over 35 is right here, and they are in alphabetical order by last name. Or I can go in here, um, custom sort, and I can delete 
the, well, I don't have to delete it. I can just change it where I can go by age again and do smallest to largest. So not only is it sorted by everyone over the age of 35 is highlighted in the front, it's now organized by everyone over the age of 35 is in order from, from youngest to oldest, and everyone not is also organized in youngest to oldest. So again, you can add levels to sorting, you can change it up. You really can get creative and do a lot of cool things with sorting. That is the cool thing about Excel, is you can really do so many awesome things. Uh, but this that is it for this video. If you have any question about sorting, uh, you know, please comment them down below. We'll reply back to them or make a part two video and go in even in more in depth. But uh, as always, please like and subscribe to our videos. It really helps out a lot. And please tune in next time. Thank you so much, and please have a great day. Hey, thanks so much for watching our video. Now, before you go, how would you like to get free access to tons of Excel content that is designed to help make your life easier and your business better? Free Excel tutorials, Excel PDF guides, mini courses, and even a book I'm writing right now. Well, if you don't want to miss out on those opportunities, make sure you check out the description of this video. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the notification icon so that you can stay up to date on all the stuff we're doing here on YouTube. Oh, and by the way, my name is Colton Coffin, and I am the founder and CEO here at Custom Excel Spreadsheets, where we help business owners and professionals get more done using tools that do exactly what they need. We help you get organized and automate tasks that save you time and money, and build collaborative tools that allow your team to perform and to engage at a higher level. And we also create some awesome visualizations that just bring your data to life and help it to tell a story that is meaningful and compelling. So I look forward to serving you with more content in the future, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks.